women, black women at that riding. You know, you don't see that in the Westerns. You don't see that out here at these competitions and things, but it's here, you know, it's a big community of African-American women and we do ride. Because it's a pretty male dominated sport and then for, you know, African-American women, we have to break down two doors because we're, we're a woman and we're African-American. Society makes us seem like we're angry women all the time, angry black women all the time, and that's really not the case. When people come to me challenging me, say I can't do this, I can't do that, I'm not one of those people, I'm not gonna trash talk with you. I'm just gonna let me and my horse show you what we can do. I am Sandra Dorsey, also known as Pinky. I am Selena Penny Brown. I am Kisha KB Bold. My name is Brittany Logan, better known as Brit Brat, and I'm a part of the Cowgirls of Color. The Cowgirls of Color are a group of girls that started riding together about three years ago. And here we are still today. We were initially challenged to do a rodeo. And the challenge turned into a passion. And three years later, we're still riding together. It's something that turned, that was a hobby, but then it turned out to be not just something fun for me, but I provide now providing hope to my community. We have so many stories about us being angry and bitter and all these things that we're not, we're just not those things. And this is who I am and, I, and it's very positive. The little girls see something so different, but they also see themselves. I have locks and these little girls in my neighborhood have locks. So when they see me and they say, wow, she has her cowboy hat on, but her hair looks like mine. And she's not trying to hide it by putting other hair on top of it. They really can relate to it. the biggest myth about cowboys that I would like to see washed away is the fact that they're not just Caucasian men, you know. Um, the cowboy really started with people of color, you know. We were the ones, the original ones, tacking up the horse, getting the horse ready, you know. And I just like to see that come back to light. You know, everyone could get a piece of this, you know. And I think that's the biggest myth that I would love to wash away. It's not just Clint Eastwood out here riding a horse, you know. Black girls go camping, black girls do horseback riding, you know. They don't see it on TV, in the media, on YouTube, things that, you know, they're currently interested in, so it needs to be exposed. rodeos all the time but the big one the final one you just don't see us and that's something that is just unfortunate just imagine if all four of us showed up there doing these events together you know individually but as a team saying hey we're showing up to do these individual events that would be so so cool Well, my biggest barrier is financially. Doing it on my own is very costly. I have two horses, you know. You have board fees, food fees, traveling fees, truck trailers, all those things. It's, a, it's like an obstacle in your way when you're trying to do these things. And also the training aspect of it. You know, we want professional trainers. We want trainers that, you know, have accolades under them so that we can be the best and we can get trained by the best. It's so much money to be made out here. You know, that's why we need trainers. We need things like that. It's like we have the skill set to do this. You know, we have the athleticism to do this. We have the mindset to do this. If I could do this full time, I quit my job in a heartbeat. Like, this is my passion, you know? If I could do this every day, like, I would be like the bomb, like the best. <laughs> I 
had no idea that this was going to be my life. So 2015, I was going to compete in a rodeo, and that was it, right? So, but now today, I'm looking to create other girls and women that want to participate and, and compete in um, the rodeos because where I'm from, you don't see these. I always tell this story about this 10-year-old little girl that won $40,000 in a barrel racing competition. Now, that may not be a lot to some people, but for little inner-city chocolate girls winning $40,000 to compete in one competition, that is more money than their parents make in a whole year. I'm sorry, boo. So I just see how this can change lives right now. And so that's my mission. Um, I tell people today that I'm the Harriet Tubman of my community. I got to free my people. And every way that I can, I will. And this is one of the ways to do it. This world that we live in to me is really not designed for our kids to even be successful you know to be able to have them to come and bond with these animals and just learn something different and be a part of nature like this is so much different than being in the city you know it's therapy in itself that is my head midnight you got it take it off you almost got it. There you go. Good boy. Okay, you want it? You want the hat? You can have it. These are my therapists <laughs> for the most part. They're my therapists, especially this one here. If he, chew, he's been there through some things for me. But he's also my best friend. But a lot of people call him my four-legged boyfriend. Yes, I love you too. I actually grew up riding. Um, my dad started me out, my uncles, my aunts, everybody used to ride. And I've been riding on my own on a horse without anybody else since I was about between the ages of five and seven. And so it's in the blood. <laughs> For kids, I think it helps build their confidence because that's the one thing horseback riding is all about is confidence. Because if you don't have it, you're not willing to do it. So it definitely is a confidence and character builder. And that's for kids or adults. Either way, it's going to help you build that. And it translates into your everyday because it changes your personality and who you are. For me, it's a matter of just believing in yourself. And that's all it is at the end of the day. You can't believe when everybody says, oh, well, you can't do this, you can't do that. Because honestly, if I believed it, I wouldn't be here right now. Um, this is actually exciting. It was so unexpected that Cowgirls of Color grew like this, you know, but I mean, I'm loving it. When you have the will, the passion, um, and you really just want to do something, it's nothing out here that will stop you. I have fallen off of the horse thousands of times. I have gotten back on my horse. You know, I've had horses that hurt me. I've had experiences where it really tears you down, people talking about you, people telling you that you can't do something, but when you have that passion, when you want to defeat all odds, you go for it. Like, it's a passion that has to be in you for you to succeed in this, you know? And I really feel like I have it. I go for what I want, and that nobody can ever say that I don't. As women, we don't give ourselves enough self-care, and I feel like this is something that not only will give you peace of mind, it'll just calm you, it'll soothe you, it'll ground you again because we deal with so many things every day, all day. So if you can have a moment to get out and just experience this piece of nature, please do it. You will feel better. Ain't that right? <laughs> Pretty girl. All right, say bye. <laughs>